Good morning, everyone. Just want to bring on a, bring you a quick video message this morning out here walking. Sprocket, uh, my dog here. I don't know if you can see him. He is somewhere. There he is. He's such a good dog. Um, just want to bring you a, an encouraging message today for those who are teaching and preaching the Word of God, who are for those who are in ministry, and for those who are not in ministry, this is for everybody. Um, sometimes the curveball of life will come your way. Whether it's at home, whether it's at work, whether it's in your ministry, there's always going to be curveballs. Why? Because we are still stuck on this earth. We, we are caught between heaven and hell, and things are going to happen. And rest assured, guess who's going to be right there waiting, accusing you? That would be Satan, the devil. He's going to try to shut your mouth and not speak a word about the gospel because he's going to try to shame you. Or he's going to try to make you feel unworthy. Well, we're not unworthy. We are a child of the most high, most high God. And these are the times when hard times come your way. This is, the, this is the time to apply scripture in your life. This is the time to lean heavily on the promises of God. I read somewhere that there's over 7,000 or around 7,000 promises in the Bible. That's pretty awesome. So when, you, when tough times come your way, lean on the scriptures. What does the scripture say about you as a child of God? What does this, what, what of all the things that the apostles went through, they had hard times too, but they, they went forth, 12 of them, including Paul, went out and changed the world and preached Christ crucified, regardless of their circumstances. And, bus bracket. And, but we have to lean on them scriptures. Philippians 4.13 comes to mind. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And this is the time you apply those verses in hard times. And, and um, times that you need to lean on scripture. That's a good scripture to lean on. That's when this verse applies. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. The casting down all imaginations. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Taking every thought captive. It's a paraphrase here. Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. The battle starts in the mind, folks. Spiritual warfare is real. It starts in the mind. And when Satan comes, China comes in your mind. You have to cast down those, those whispers of Satan. Cast them down to the obedience of Christ. Remind yourself. Speak it out loud, because when you speak it out loud, you're feeding your own soul. You're supplying your own soul with the Word of God, because it's going to come out of your mouth and right back into your ear and down into your soul. That's how you make the Word of God a part of you. We have to get the Word of God in us. And that's one way to do it. Speak it. Read your Bible out loud so your ears can hear it. It's a continuous flow. You see it in your eyes, see the scripture through your eyes, gets down in your in your in your in your soul, your mind, will and emotions, and you and you and you speak it out, and it goes right back in your ears, and you just keep you keep supplying yourself the word of God. Because I like this phrase I learned many years ago, one of my favorite preachers, Pastor John. He says it like this. The Spirit of God will act upon the Word of God to bring about the will of God. Right? The Spirit of God acts upon the Word of God to bring about the will of God. We have to get the Word in us so the Holy Spirit can have something to work with. Right? So get the Word in you. Get your favorite verses. Romans 8.28 you know, prayer phrase here, God takes all things, all means all, all things, and he'll work them together for the good of, for those 
who love God and are called according to his purposes. All things. That means the bad things in your life that's happening right now. The valley that you're in. The flesh is hating it. But you know what? You're going to grow from it. You can choose to um, take the woe is me route, which is exactly what Satan wants you to do. Or you can uh, crush that serpent with your heel and tell him to get thee behind me. I'm going to grow from it and learn from it and go forward. Celebrate God on, on the uh, peaks, the mountain peaks too, not just the valleys. Because he's there too. He's, he is the God of the valley and he's the God of the mountain peaks too. But anyway, just some quick encouragement today. I hope you're well. If you have not tried, trusted Christ as your Savior, I pray that you consider your ways. Come at the end of yourself. Meaning, realize that you cannot save yourself. Your goodness or your repenting of your flesh, fleshly mistakes, um, doesn't get you into heaven. What does get you into heaven is, is to realize that you need a Savior. That's Jesus Christ, right? He's the only one who can save you. He died on that cross, according to chapter, uh, chapter uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. How that Christ died for your sins according to Scripture. How he was buried and he rose again on that third day according to Scriptures. You place your trust in what he did. He did all of the work over 2,000 years ago. And all we, all we need to do is trust God. Take God for his word that he provided a way for us. And he did. Hallelujah. And we just put, place our faith, trust there. That's it. And... Once you do that, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit, a promise unto the day of redemption. No man can pluck you out of God's hand. Once you're saved, you're always saved. Once you're sealed, you're always sealed. Once you're a child, you're always a child. And that's good news. We grow as, as his children. We grow as God's children. We get in revivals. We um, realize and get to know God's love learn our Heavenly Father what His character is like and we realize that we are forever placed in His hand. He loves you with an everlasting love. And also, um, He chastises those whom He loves as well. So, welcome. If you have got, gotten saved this morning, if you have placed your faith this morning, I want to say welcome to, to uh, the family. And it, all it takes is just a moment. That's what you and I. A, a millisecond nanosecond you place your trust there you are saved sealed forever that's good news anyway that's uh all i have for right now just stay encouraged don't let the cur uh, the curveball of life that's what life is down here in the surface one big curveball it keeps moving it's 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 dynamic nothing ever is static so anyway wish everyone have a great day i love you i talk to you soon bye bye